everyone and welcome back to the survival game series previously we've been working on our island and getting it into a good shape for us to play around in we're now going to start working on our resource nodes to collect resources to build with so in this episode we're going to work on a resource component and this component we can use to apply to many different objects to get different resources from them the idea being that we can hit them to get resources out and then collect them for our inventory so we're going to get started on that in this episode and uh, let's get cracking so as you can see, we have finished out building out our island, full in decorations. Obviously, you can always do a little bit more, but I think this will do for us for now. Um, so to get started with the resources, the way it's going to work is we're going to create two resource objects, and then alongside that have a component that we can put onto it that determines what kind of resource it is, how much health it can take, and so forth uh, with what it drops. So let's go ahead and create a new folder in here to help us organize this a little bit more and call it resources and in here we're going to create a new blueprint class and we're going to choose an act component and we'll call this one as a resource component now the reason why i want to make a component is because it makes it a lot easier for me to just attach it to different resource types including not just the ones found in the world but also the ones that the player has crafted themselves so let's say for example the player destroys a wall they've made they can get back those materials a lot easier if the resource component is part of that wall actor to begin with so it makes things a lot easier to get things set up and a lot quicker too so in our resource component here uh, we're going to have a few things on it the first thing we want to put on here is going to be the health of the resource so how much damage it can take so it's going to variables and we'll do uh, health and that'll be a float. I'm then also going to have in here uh, the item that's going to be dropping, the resources it can possibly drop. Okay, so uh, we'll just do um, resources. And we'll sort out the variable type for this in a second. And the last one we're going to have here is going to be um, tool damage, which again we'll sort out in a second too. But tool damage is basically going to be. Uh, what kind of damage it can take from different types of tools so for example if it's rock a pickaxe will be best to use so we'll make it pick it a lot quicker so we'll be using this tool damage here to calculate this now for our resource component here to receive damage from the health value we first will need to know what we're damaging now because this is a component we can easily get hold of the actor that it's attached to so we're going to do get uh, actor and you'll just see get parent actor somewhere uh, not actor, sorry, owner, sorry, that's what I want. So get owner. And in this owner here, we're going to cast, uh, not cast, sorry, uh, bind event to, and we'll bind event to any damage. So let's find it, take any damage. We'll put that on begin play here. And on the binding event here, we'll just drag this out to a custom event and damaged resource. So now when we damage the thing that this is attached to, this can handle what is going on. Okay, so we've got damage coming out of here. We're gonna simply just take it away from the health. So get health and do minus float and choose damage. And we're then gonna set that back to our health here. Okay. So next thing I'm going to do is do the tool damage calculation. So tools, we're going to make an enum for first of all. Let's create a blueprint and do enumeration. And we're going to do e tool type. And in the tool type here, we're going to have pickaxe for our stone, an axe for our wood, and a uh, let's do a, uh, a scythe for our um, herbs and we also have another one here for unarmed okay we're then going to go back to our resource component and change the tool damage verbal type here to that e tool type and when i do this i'm going to change this over to a map and then change the integer here to a float. When I compile this now, I can now set on my tool damage default values 
what amount of damage each tool can do. So you want to start with the bottom one. So change it from pickaxe here to unarmed. And let's say against um, anything else, the stone would be like one. We'll start off with one for everything. And then we can customize it later per item. And then pickaxe one. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we need to get hold of the tool the player's got hold of first. And then multiply this by this damage resource. So first of all, we need to know what tool the player has. So we can go to variables, and in here we're going to have get player tool, and this is going to be a single variable type for the tool type. And all we're going to do is we're going to take the get player tool value out. Actually, not to, not call it get player tool, just call it player tool. There you go. That makes more sense. Uh, and then take tool damage here, and in the tool damage we're going to find the tool that we're hitting it with okay and this find would be a multiplier so we take the damage value coming out of here and multiply that by the float of this find so if we set it to one it'll do max damage if we do it 0.5 it do half damage and so on and so forth and that'll go into our subtraction here okay uh, next we've got the resources to sort out here. So the resources are going to be a class of things that we can drop on the floor to pick up later. So we're going to right click here and do blueprint class and choose actor. And this is going to be called a resource. Now this resource will refer to a data table later. But for now we're going to leave it like this and go to the, uh, the uh, resource component again and change the resources here to a resource class reference. And this will also be a map with a resource and a float. This will give us a chance to input in um, some rare drops, for example, if we wanted to. We can work that into it quite easily. So you can say you've got like um, when you're mining copper, you know, mostly you can get copper, but you may get a chance to get something a bit more special, a bit more uh, rarer. Okay, and there is our resource component done, essentially. Um, and all we have to do then is now make the actors that this attaches to. So let's create the first actor here, which is going to be our uh, rock actor. So we do stone resource. And let's set up the appearance of this one. So static mesh. And in here I want to find a stone. Um, I don't know what one's going to be good. Uh, what's this one looking like? That might look like, right. <laughs> stone and we'll look for maybe um actually let's type in rock there we are small rock okay and i'm just going to bring that down a bit but smaller in size there okay and there is our rock and if I add this with a resource component, I can now define over here on the right hand side how much health this rock has. So let's say it has a thousand. Our resources it can it'll do later we'll put in there. Tool damage though, we can go to unarmed. You can do no damage to it with a with your fists. A scythe will do barely any, so we'll do like 0 0.1. An axe will do a little bit more, but not as much. So let's do 0 0.25. But a pickaxe would be the best, so we leave it as one. And the player tool we're not worried about, we leave that alone. Okay, uh, and that is all we're going to do for today. So this is now set up our resource component for our stone. And uh, we'll go through how to set up the rest of this in the next episode. And we'll end it there for now. In the next episode, we'll carry on and get our resources to spit out chunks of what they want to give us. So the next episode, you can catch that over on patreon.com forward slash Ryan Lady right now for early access to all patrons and YouTube members as well. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone.